Welcome back to our daily news update, bringing you the latest headlines from around the world, now let's begin. Body positivity icon Lizzo lambasted lawsuit fat phobic harassment backup dancers woke irony. I would like to be body normative. I want to normalize my body, Lizzo said in 2020. A lawsuit against singer and body positivity icon Lizzo is gaining attention online after celebrities, former employees and influencers reacted to the news. The suit, filed by three of Lizzo's former dancers, is alleging that the pop star harassed her employees with comments tinged with racial and fat phobic animus. Page Six reported that the suit even includes accusations of Lizzo pressuring her dancers into eating bananas from the private parts of prostitutes, among other sexual acts. I know people get sued for things they didn't actually do all the time but Lizzo getting sued for weight shaming. According to a recent CNN report, Normally, Lizzo's name appears in the lyrics of Break My Soul, Queen's Remix, alongside the likes of Nina Simone, Lauren Hill and Nicki Minaj, as part of Beyoncé's song celebrating black women in the entertainment industry. But several videos posted on social media showed Beyoncé appearing to omit Lizzo's name from the song during her latest concert, instead repeating Erica Badu's name four times, even as Lizzo's name flashed up on the screen behind her. Lizzo is one of the most prominent celebrity advocates for the body positivity movement, which promotes body types and weights that are not traditionally considered attractive by mainstream popular culture. I think it's lazy for me to just say I'm body positive at this point, Lizzo told Vogue in 2020. It's easy. I would like to be body normative. I want to normalize my body. Filmmaker Sophia Nolly Allison told her followers on Instagram Tuesday that Lizzo was arrogant, self-centered, and unkind. I was not protected and was thrown into a she-why situation with little support. My spirit said to run as fast as you f ing can and I'm so grateful I trusted my gut. I was treated with such disrespect by her, Allison wrote. Reading these reports made me realize how dangerous of a situation it was. This kind of abuse of power happens far too often, she added. Lizzo is a terrible person, political commentator Ian Miles Chung wrote on Twitter Tuesday. The suit, obtained by Fox News Digital, also alleges that dancers endured an excruciating audition after claims of unprofessionalism and drinking on the job, and that they were prevented from finding work outside the tour. The stunning nature of how Lizzo and her management team treated their performers seems to go against everything Lizzo stands for publicly, while privately she weight shames her dancers and demeans them in ways that are not only illegal but absolutely demoralizing, the lawyer for the plaintiffs, Ron Zambrano, said in a statement. Fox News Digital reached out to representatives of Lizzo for comment. This article will be updated with any response. Dot. Fox News Elizabeth Stanton contributed to this report. Subscribe to my YouTube news channel now. Providing accurate and reliable information on the latest hot events. Join the community for exchanging opinions and learning from each other. Hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to never miss out on the latest videos. Let's explore the world of information together.